Hey, I'm Allie Saunders, and in today's video tutorial brought to you by Storyblocks, I'm going to show you how to give your footage a retro look in Premiere Pro with influence from the 70s all the way up to the early 2000s. You can bring a nostalgic feeling to your videos by creating the retro look, and this is a look that we're seeing become more and more popular. We're going to be customizing several different effects to achieve this look, so let's hop into Premiere Pro and get started. I found the stock footage clip that I'm using in this tutorial on storyblocks.com. They make it really easy to find video clips for all your editing needs. So we're in Premiere Pro and we're going to be working on this clip of four friends in a camper van taking a selfie. First, let's go up to the project panel, click on the new item icon and select adjustment layer. Press OK, drag this adjustment layer over top of the clip and we'll be applying effects to our adjustment layer rather than directly onto the clip. With our adjustment layer selected, let's open the Lumetri color panel to adjust the color of this clip. If you can't see the Lumetri color panel, select window and you can select Lumetri color. Let's go into basic correction. Older cameras didn't have the dynamic range that we're used to seeing today. So we're going to blow out the exposure of this clip a little bit by increasing it to 1.5. And older footage tends to have punchier contrast. So let's pump the contrast to 30 to darken the shadows and brighten the highlights. Adjusting faded film in the creative tab also really helps create that retro look and gives it more of a dull washed outlook. So we'll adjust faded film to 70. Older footage compared to HD footage isn't as sharp or as vibrant. So let's decrease sharpen to minus 50 and decrease vibrance to minus 40. I'll scroll down and let's click on the vignette tab and change amount to minus 1.5 and feather to 100, which will darken the edges of our footage. Okay, in the timeline, I'm gonna turn the V2 track eyeball off so we can see what the original clip looks like and back on. Okay, so this is looking really good so far. Next, let's go over to the effects window, search for noise, and in the noise and grain folder, grab the noise effect and drag it onto the adjustment layer. Let's hop over to effect controls, set the noise to 20% or to taste, depending on how much grain you'd like to add to your footage. Let's go back over to the effects window and we're gonna recreate a warping effect that sometimes appears on VHS tapes by adding the wave warp effect. Drag that onto the adjustment layer, go back over to effect controls, adjust the wave type to square, bring wave width to 1000, change the direction to zero so that the line shows horizontally, change wave speed to minus 0.1. And so we're not seeing any of these random black edges on the sides of our clip, change pinning to all edges. Awesome, next let's grab the ramp effect inside the effects panel window and drag it onto our adjustment layer. We're gonna add a warm orange overlay to this clip to give it a bit of that 70s vibe. Click on the start color box that shows the color on the top half of the gradient, which is currently black, and let's choose an orange hue. Okay, I'm happy with the bottom half remaining white, Next, so that we can see our footage under this gradient, let's now adjust the blend with original setting to around 80% so that we're adding a nice subtle warmth to our clip. Another thing I like to do when I'm creating the retro look to make a clip feel like it was shot on VHS is add a date on one of the corners of my frame. So let's drag the adjustment layer up because we're gonna add this text layer under it. Open the Essential Graphics panel window, which if you don't see, you can go up to Window, select Essential Graphics, choose the Type tool, click on your Program window, and enter a date. You'll notice I'm using a free font called VCR OSD Mono, which fits this retro look. That font can be found with a quick Google search. My font's already white, but if yours isn't, you can select it. Under the Appearance tab, click on Fill, and choose White, OK and then switch back to the selection tool to adjust the position of the text on the screen to the bottom right. And that text created a graphic layer, which I'll drag onto the V2 track. And lastly, another thing that I like to do when I'm adding this retro style to my footage is remove some of the frames from the footage, which really helps sell the overall effect. 
To do this, search for Posterize Time in the Effects Panel window and add it to the Adjustment layer. Go over to Effect Controls and change the frame rate to 16 within the Posterize effect. Awesome, okay, so let's play this back to check it out. Okay, this clip now has a retro feel to it. And there you go. That's how you can create the retro look in Premiere Pro using several different effects. This is a great style to add to your videos if you want to create that nostalgic old school feeling. I'm Ali Saunders and this tutorial was brought to you by Storyblocks. Thanks for checking it out and we'll see you next time.